it's Kayla. So, I am back again with another video. I am just proud of myself, but anyway, we're gonna get right into this because I'm trying to make this quick so I can go eat dinner and relax before fall breaks over officially and I start school tomorrow again. So, yeah, whatever. So, um, this was kind of requested. I can't say highly because I don't have a lot of people that said, yeah, they want to see it. But I just thought I'd show you my skincare routine. Um, little backstory, I've had really bad skin before. Um, this is this is definitely nowhere where it used to be. If you knew me when I was around the age of like 13, which is everyone's age to get puberty, stress, hormones, everything's fluctuating and rising. and bleh, It's just crazy. Well, that was my time as well to basically break out, break out, break out, back break out, all over. Yeah, no, not pretty. So, um, thanks to birth control and, uh, this little baby right here, Panoxyl. It's very strong stuff. I'm gonna tell you, like, three things about each thing I show you and then tell you how I use them. This is a face mask. I would not leave it on for, like, more than ten minutes or when it finally dries, take it off. I used to do that and leave it on until it burned. Not okay. It's not okay. It's terrible. Awful. It's really drying. I have really oily skin, but I actually, like, at one time, like, had basically, like, a five o'clock shadow all around here because I would leave it on until it burned. Yeah, it dries your skin out really bad. But that's the thing, is it dries out pimples and dries out those oils and all the dirt. It's really, really good. I use it to, like, spot tree. Like, I'll take a little bit. Like, I just did that with this mask and this one by Freeman, um, Feeling Beautiful. These masks are great. They're cheap. This is pretty cheap to, like, Walmart, Target. But, um, these masks are, like, awesome because they tell you the skin types. Um, where's it? Little, then there's a little circle down here. So this one is for all skin. This one's for oily. They have different, um, ingredients within them that help for different reasons. Um, I will actually be using this one to, like, finish up all my stuff when I'm done, after I'm done showing you guys. And then, uh, yeah. But basically, they're just really great masks. Three things about them. They're cheap. They last like three years and there's so many different ones that you can really mix and match and double and like triple mask. I triple mask usually. The Panoxyl, it's cheap as well. It's really, really high grade stuff. So it's good even though it's cheap. And if you're someone who has... Now, if you have like cystic acne, that's a whole different thing. There is different types of acne. For the type of acne I had, we went through a lot. It wasn't just birth control and this. No, I went through different creams, different medicines, all kinds of stuff. And this one is something that I've stuck with through, like, when I have breakouts, I pop that on and they're gone in the morning. It's just something I like and it doesn't make my skin break out since I am sensitive skin. Now, since I masked with those, I go into these guys, which are Super Spot Remover by Origin. And this is the Herbal Complexion Stick by um, Burt's Bees. I love this for basically, I'm just going to show you, basically um, putting on after I've like popped pimples, like I did pop some like right there, down here. Um, it's also supposed to get rid of all those like scars you have, which I have another thing I use for that and that's this, the Ambi Cream. This one's for oily skin specifically. I just started using this, so I don't really have three things to tell, but I've heard great things about it. Let me rub this in because it's, it's very strong. It is also, um, yeah, it's got tea tree oil in it, so... Very strong. I like it. Um, it's very, like, it It doesn't make me break out. So, I've used it for probably over a year now. Um, I like it because the tea tree oils I heard is really great for oily skin anyway. It's really great on my acne spots, especially, like, I use this all day. So, like, morning, mid, midday, night, it does not matter. This is great for me all day round. And then the third thing is, it's pretty cheap and it lasts probably a good while like probably over like a month and then I usually buy a new one that's about seven eight dollars depending on where you go and then the origins I got in a little kit um origins is great because they're natural they are just well well known for their ingredients and what they do their stuff is expensive but if you can catch stuff on sale I would definitely recommend it but this is great because um it is specifically for like little spots so I'll basically just take this after I put the Burt's Bees on Pop it on, rub it in to the spot, and I like putting this stuff on after popping pimples because I can feel it start to work, as in, basically, that means you can feel it start to burn. Not burn, burn, but, you know, um, you just keep going, you put it on, put it on, 
And then you rub it in, rub it in. And yeah, so it helps a lot. I really like it. Um, and I don't really have a lot of trouble spots right now, but that's because I basically pop them. Oh, I do have two that my headband's covering. Yeah. I'm really bad about popping pimples. I'm not going to lie. I, I think if you can get that stuff out cleanly and safely and not like using your nails and you can do it in a, like a, I almost said orderly fashion. Wow. If you can do it in a clean fashion and making sure that your fingernails aren't dirty. Actually, bottom line, don't use your fingernails. I've I've learned that the hard way. Fingernails tend to leave the scars because it just cuts and it, you know, I don't know. It tends to leave scars. I use this guy, this little tool. You've probably seen it. Dr. Pimple Popper has actual high grade ones, so much better. But I use this. I got it off Wish a long time ago. <laughs> But I, um, I like it. It's great for this area, which by the way, I sneeze. So I'm not going to do that on camera. I will literally be sneezing for a minute. Um, I don't use this in, but I use this because I tend to notice that like these guys, I popped with this. Um, I usually take a safety pin, kind of nick it and then take it the, and scoop, scoop out the stuff. But I think it doesn't leave scars as much as like fingers and stuff. But also if you don't have one of those, take a tissue or a makeup wipe. That's what I like. Makeup wipe sometimes. And just pop it that way. That way you're not taking nails. Or at least if you have them. It's it's a lot softer surface. And it's not just a hard, hard surf Like that hard line of your nails basically. I'll just show you really quick. So I just take this. Wrap it up. And it's like that. Plus then you have something to wipe away. Rather than just your fingers. And you're not pushing that back into your skin. So yeah. Um, next. Oh, this is another Burt's Bees thing. I use this during the day, mainly. This is an acne solution. This is a spot treatment cream. So at night, I use the Origins. And then during the day, if I feel like I popped a pimple or maybe, you know, in the day, you'll be scratching your, you rub your face and then it hurts. And you're like, oh, what? And you check and it, there's this big pimple come. You're like, what? So I usually try and put this on kind of at the start. It's also max, it says maximum strength. It's about seven to $8, I think, as well. And then um, it's got salicylic acid, which this guy does too. But if you've read anything, salicylic acid is just great, bottom line. Now, I've got that stuff on. I'm feeling a little dry. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of the Ambi cream on just for these guys. They say this is really great um, for if you feel like, um, oh, after you pop a pimple or certain pimples, once they're popped, they're going to scar. You can put that on and it's supposed to help. Now, I will forewarn you, I read up on this a little bit um, before I bought it, and they say if, I think a lot of people buy it to get rid of their freckles. I love my freckles. I would like to keep my freckles. So I do not put it in places where I have my freckles. So this area doesn't really get touched. Now, down here, I usually go down. I try not to go up or anything. I just go down, down, down. Rub it in, rub it in. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. Rubbed it in. Now, since I'm still feeling a little dry, I'll kind of fan that away. Now, I have these. This cream and this cream. The Renerge Night by Lancome and then the Origins High Potency Nitamins. Both are fantastic. Both are expensive. They're, they're luxury items. They're not cheap. I will say that. Are they worth it? Yes. I have definitely noticed a difference in my skin since I got this a year ago as a gift for buying something else. Leaving, I'm I'm not going to tell you how much it is. Don't look it up either. Comment down below how much you think this is. But this stuff is also really good. It's Origins. It's natural. Um, it's resurfacing cream with fruit-derived AHAs, which I've heard AHAs. I've not read enough into it, so I'm not going to give any advice on it. But I, from what I've read, it's AHAs are really good. Um, but both of them are very, very hydrating. You do not need a lot. I don't use this every night. I use this probably every night, but I usually just do... Two quick fingers, and I do this. That's it. Maybe a little more. That's it. And if I ever get excess, I just wipe it off. So, um, I'll put a little bit of this on. Kind of just in the areas I didn't touch already. On my neck. There you go. So, once I put that stuff on, I rub it in. And I actually got this really cool tool recently. It's um, by the brand Daily Concepts. It's actually a jade gua sha. Gua sha. Gua sha. G-U-A-S-H-A. Gua sha. Gua sha. Gua sha. Yeah. Whatever you 
think it is. It's actually this guy, and it's Jade. And my middle name's Jade, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this. But I've heard really great things, and this one um, is supposed to help with lymphatic drainage. It helps everything, like, you put on your face actually get in there. Um, it helps, like, absorption, basically. But yeah, this just feels really good. So then I just kind of take it, go down, go up. All right, push down, push down. Oh, kind of have to be careful because those pimples are still raised, still inflamed. So yeah, just kind of rub this stuff in, really push it in all the products I put on my face. And then two last steps. These guys, Mario Badescu, three things about them. Oh man, I love the Mario Badescu sprays. This one is the cucumber and um, green tea. The other one I have is the lavender and chamomile. Both are fantastic. I think this one helps with redness. I, I don't know, I use this more during the day. This one's more for at night. So I won't do as much of this. But I'll do that one heavily on my face for nighttime because it helps me calm down. I think it helps my face calm down. And then, once again, Freeman Mask coming in, dude. I'm telling you, they're fantastic. Please, pick you up some. And if you go to Ulta, they're usually on sale. And I think they're $4.29 at Ulta. Um, but, oh, oh, they're so good. They're so good. That mask is um, just a water gel mask. It's very hydrating. It's meant for that reason only. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. So... Um, I just rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. And I'll push my headband up so I can get the skin right there. And then I take my fan. It's not my BTS one. No, we're not touching that one. And go to town. All right. Now, I will say this mask is a leave-on, or you can, like, wash it off for 10 minutes. I leave it on. I have actually had breakouts the night before, and I put this on um, after I popped them and cleansed my face. And I, oh my gosh, I kid you not, the next morning, those pimples have been gone. For the price of that, for that kind of result, I'm just saying, they're pretty good. I, I love the skincare products that I found for my skin, like... Those are all basically things that are on my makeup counter, my bathroom counter, whatever. When I go on trips, those have to come with me. I have probably, of these guys, the Freeman mask, oh my god, I have to have, right now I think I have eight. And I'm at Riker's house, shout out to Riker, my boyfriend, um, I have many more that I need to get. But, yeah, oh, oh, can't forget this, Blistex. It's chapstick. It's medicated, so it really helps if you have... I get, like, really weird bumps. Um, my lips get really, really bad. So I'm now an addict for all chapstick. Mario Badescu has one that's new, and it's out. It's fantastic. But this guy, it's perfect for night, I think. It's almost like a lip mask. Yeah, I don't... It doesn't have to be on my lips, just exactly. But yeah. I just let that soak in. I think it soaks in really well. It's cheap. You can get two of them for like $2.99, $3. That's, that is $3. Duh. Two to three dollars, something like that at Walmart. But I really like them and I, yeah, I like my chapstick. But yeah, I think that is everything. I'm gonna, you know, play around with this guy some more because that felt heavenly. Yeah, just rub it in. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So, um,. Just comment down below how much you think this is. And uh, also, if you want to leave a comment, like, subscribe, please. You can let me know what you think my next video should be. But as of right now, just uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled and open. Because the next one, I think, should be something fun. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.